So, you've probably noticed those spots in your house, you know the ones. The Wi-Fi just doesn't seem to reach them. Maybe it's the upstairs bedroom or the basement or even just the far corner of the living room. Your video calls drop, your movies buffer and your games lag. It's frustrating. A single, traditional Wi-Fi router can only do so much. It sends out a signal from one spot, and walls, floors and other obstacles can easily block it. This creates what we call Wi-Fi dead zones and they are a huge pain. It's a common problem especially in larger or multi-story homes. This is where a mesh network comes in. Think of it like a team of Wi-Fi routers working together. Instead of just one device trying to cover your whole house, a mesh system uses multiple devices called nodes or points. They all talk to each other to create a single, seamless Wi-Fi network. It's one network name, one password everywhere. As you walk around your house, your phone or laptop automatically connects to the strongest node without you even noticing. It's a much smarter and more efficient way to spread a strong, reliable internet connection across your entire living space. The main benefit here is simple, complete coverage. A mesh network blankets your home and Wi-Fi, eliminating those annoying dead zones for good. This means you can stream 4K video in your bedroom, have a stable video conference in your home office, and browse the web from your back porch, all without any interruptions. It's also incredibly easy to expand. If you find you still have a weak spot, you can just add another node to the system. It's a flexible solution that grows with your needs, ensuring every corner of your home gets the fast internet you pay for. So, if you're tired of fighting with your Wi-Fi, a mesh network is definitely something to look into. It's designed to solve the exact problems that most people have with their home internet. It's no longer a super technical or expensive thing, just for enthusiasts. These days, setting one up is surprisingly simple. It's a real game changer for anyone who relies on a solid internet connection at home, which, let's be honest, is pretty much everyone. The goal is to make your Wi-Fi just work, everywhere, all the time, without you having to think about it. When you decide to get a mesh Wi-Fi system, you'll find the box is pretty simple. There isn't a lot of complicated gear inside, which is great. The main things you will find are the mesh nodes themselves. These are the small devices that will create your new network. You usually get a pack of two or three nodes. One of these will be your primary node, the one that connects directly to your modem. The other ones are called satellite nodes. They will be placed around your house to expand the Wi-Fi signal and create that seamless mesh coverage we talked about. Inside the box, you will also find the necessary cables to get everything connected. First, you'll have a power adapter for each node. You need to plug every single node into a wall outlet for power, so make sure you have outlets available where you plan to place them. You will also get at least one Ethernet cable. This is a very important cable. It is used to connect your primary mesh node to your internet modem. This is how your new mesh network gets its internet connection from your service provider. Without this connection, the whole system won't work. The only other thing you really need is something you already have, your smartphone. Almost all modern mesh Wi-Fi systems are set up and managed through a mobile app. You will need to download the specific app for your mesh system brand from the Apple App Store or the Google Play Store. This app will be your command center. It will guide you through the entire installation process with easy-to-follow instructions. It also lets you manage your network, check your internet speed, see which devices are connected, and even set up a guest network later on. And that's pretty much it for equipment. To recap, you have your mesh nodes, the power adapters for each one, and an ethernet cable. The only other piece of equipment involved is your existing internet modem, which is the box that brings the internet into your house from your provider. You are not replacing your modem, just your old router. This simplicity is a key part of the design. The companies that make these systems want the setup to be as painless as possible, so you can get from unboxing to enjoying better Wi-Fi in no time. Alright, let's get this set up. The process is straightforward so don't worry. The first step is to download the app for your mesh system onto your smartphone. Just search for the brand name like Google Home, Eero, or Orbi in your app store. Once the app is installed, open it up and create an account if you need to. The app will be your guide for everything else so having it ready is the essential first move. It will tell you exactly what to do, but I'll walk you through the general steps so you know what to expect. Next, it's time to plug things in. Take one of the mesh nodes, it doesn't matter which one, they are usually identical, and this will become your primary node. 
First, unplug your old Wi-Fi router from both power and your modem. You won't need it anymore. Now take the Ethernet cable that came with your mesh system, plug one end into the back of your internet modem, and plug the other end into the port on your new primary node. Then plug the primary node's power adapter into a wall outlet. You should see a light on the node turn on. Now, go back to the app on your phone. It will tell you to connect to your new mesh network. The app will use Bluetooth or scan a QR code on the bottom of the node to find it automatically. Follow the on-screen instructions to create your new Wi-Fi network name and a strong password. This is the name and password you will use for all your devices. The app will then configure the primary node and connect it to the internet. This might take a few minutes, so just be patient. The app will tell you when it's done and ready for the next step. With your primary node up and running, it's time to place the other satellite nodes. The app will help you with this. Take the second node, plug it into a power outlet in another room, somewhere between the primary node and a known Wi-Fi dead zone. The app will automatically detect the new node and add it to your network. It will even tell you if the placement is good or if you should try moving it a little closer or farther away. Repeat this process for the third node, placing it in another area of your home that needs better coverage. So, your mesh network is officially set up. Now for the final and maybe most important part making sure your nodes are in the best possible spots. The placement of your satellite nodes makes a huge difference in the quality of your Wi-Fi signal. A common mistake is to put the satellite nodes right in the middle of a dead zone. This doesn't work very well because the node needs to receive a strong signal from the primary node in order to broadcast a strong signal of its own. If you put it where the signal is already dead, it has nothing to work with. The key is to place your satellite nodes about halfway between your primary node and the areas where your Wi-Fi is weak. Think of it like a relay race. Each node needs to be close enough to the previous one to get a good handoff of the signal. A good rule of thumb is to place them no more than two rooms or about 30 to 40 feet away from each other. This allows them to communicate effectively and blanket your home with a strong stable connection. Try to place them in open areas, not hidden away in cabinets or behind the TV. Also, think in three dimensions. If you have a multi-story home, you should try to place the nodes on different floors. For example, if your primary node is on the first floor in the living room, a great spot for a satellite node would be on the second floor, directly above the living room or in a nearby hallway. This vertical placement helps the signal travel between floors, which is often a major challenge for traditional routers. The goal is to create a web or a mesh of coverage that extends both horizontally and vertically throughout your home. Finally, use the app. Your Mesh Systems app is your best friend for optimizing placement. Most of these apps have a built-in signal test feature. After you place a node, you can run the test, and the app will tell you if the connection to the primary node is excellent, good, or weak. If it says the signal is weak, just try moving the node a little closer to the primary node and run the test again. Taking a few extra minutes to test and adjust the placement of each node will pay off with a super reliable network that covers every inch of your home.